Now, we are going to take up one more problem on projections of solids. The problem number 138, it reads as a square pyramid of 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corners of the base such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclinations with HP. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP at 40 degrees and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degrees. So this is the problem. So this will going to be this final solution. So first we need to go for the AutoCAD screen and switch off the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. Now the command is limits. Specify lower left corner 0, 0, upper right corner you take 297, 210. Then zoom. Then uh, you zoom on. Then go to line, select some arbitrary point, take the cursor to the right side and give the distance as 297 and take the cursor to the top side and give the distance as 210 and take the cursor to the left side and give the distance as 297 and send the close. And go to zoom extends, zoom 0.6x. Then go to uh, layer. So you just click on new layer, type the layer by name xy click on new, type the layer by name access, click on new, type the layer by name front view, enter, click on new, type the layer by name top view, TV, click on new, type the layer by name front view, hidden, enter, click on new, type the layer by name top view, hidden. Now you just go to layer 0, Set the line weight as 0 0.05 and then the XY line as 0.13 and then the axis line as uh, 0 0.05 then the front view line as 0.5 and the top view line as uh, 0.5 and the top front view hidden as 0.3 and the top view hidden also as 0 0.3. Then you click on top view hidden then go to load type H hidden then OK and click on load take center C enter and you just uh, click on hidden and say OK and front view hidden also you take hidden line type then you come down to access click on the continuous of this and then go to center and then click on OK then you click on the axis color make that as magenta then the front view should be of uh, uh, the front view should be of red so you click on red okay then similarly top uh, sorry top view hidden should be uh, blue and the front view hidden should be of red and the top view should be of blue and say okay so this is how we will be able to create this then we will go for a polygon command and create the square at an angle of 40, 30 45 degrees then go to polygon, select number of sides as 4, take the edge option and select some arbitrary point and then you say at the rate of, you take 35, at the rate of uh, 35 less than 45 degrees. Then go to line, select this uh, intersection point of this and take INT of this and go to line take int of this and take intersection part of this then go to move select this entire drawing and move it down and then uh, you just go to line draw a horizontal line of in a distance and take the distance as 60 then go to offset take the distance as 60 mm then uh, then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this and then go to intersection part of this then go to mirror select these two and mirror with reference to this line then go to fillet between these two and fillet between these two then go to erase erase this then go to break first point take int of this and say at the rate now you just click over this and you go to layer make that layer as top view then you just click on this and this line 
go to layer make that layer as front view and switch on the line by display mode now you take the first position uh, copy the first position front view to the second position and rotate by an angle of 50 degrees so that it will go to become 40 degrees to the horizontal so you do that so go to copy select this entire thing and copy it to the next position and then go to rotate rotate this with reference to this point what is the rotation angle 50 degrees so then you will go to get line take int of this and then go to sorry select this line go to layer make that layer as top view now you just go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then uh, go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to line take int of this and draw a vertical line and then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this now then go to fillet between this line and uh, this line then go to line take int and take intersection and take intersection and take intersection and then int and then int and then intersection point now once you do that then go to break first point take int of this and say at the rate then break first point take int of this and say at the rate so here all the exterior edges of the boundaries of the solids are visible the extreme edge is also visible then go to layer make that layer as top view then you just click on this line and then this line go to layer make that layer as top view hidden and take the distance as 10 mm so here line type scale factor is 10 so then go to zoom so here you will go to get this and you take this distance still further go to scale factor you make it 20 so now you have this line then uh, you just click over this okay then go to zoom previous then go to line take int of this and draw a horizontal line and similarly from here you draw a horizontal line and now we need to copy the second position top view and then rotate that by an angle of 45 degrees so to do that then go to copy select this entire drawing and copy to the next position and then go to rotate select this and then base point rotation angle is minus 45 degrees then go to move switch off the ortho mode take this and place it wherever you want then go to line switch on the ortho mode take intersection point of this and draw a horizontal line then go to line take intersection point of this and draw perpendicular to this then you go to fillet between this line and this line then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this line now, then go to line take int of this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this line then go to fillet between this line and this line then go to line take int of this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this line then go to line take intersection point of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this now then go to fillet between this line and this line then go to line take int of this and intersection of this then intersection of this then intersection of this and then int of this and then intersection of int of this and then int of this now then go to zoom window then go to line take int of this and take intersection of this and then intersection of this then uh, go to line take int of this 
and take intersection of this and then intersection of this so now all the exterior edges of the boundaries of the solids are visible one should do that and the surface nearer to the observer is visible so these two are visible obviously this line is also visible so you make that as front view now you just go to this line you make this layer as axis layer and you make that as 10 so one should do that so what about this line this line is going to be front view hidden and this distance is 20 so now you have this similarly you just come down to this so here this is how you will be able to create the drawing so you just click on this then select this go to layer make that layer as xy then go to ddim then click on modify and click on primary units you make this as zero precision and go to text take the text height as three align with the dimension line centered becomes above take this dimension as three symbols and arrows take the arrow size as three and lines offset from the origin as three and say okay and say close now we have dim so you just uh, go to dim select uh, intersection part of this and then intersection part of this so here you will going to get it as 36 then go to int of this and take int of this so here you take this as 60 and then go to angular select this dimension and this dimension so you're going to get 40 then go to angular select this line and this line you will want to get it as 45 degrees then go to zoom window so you just come down to zoom window then go to dim TED text edit dimension you bring it here take it 40 so you take this as 45 degrees then we have a uh, D text so you just uh, copy it uh, take the height as 3 and you mark this as capital X and you mark this as capital VP and this as HP and this as capital Y so here you write small a B C and D and here it is O and here it is O1 now once you have this and you mark this as O dash and this as A dash and this as B dash and this as C dash and this as D dash and this as O1 dash and uh, here then go to move select objects A O O1 then B then C then D then A dash then B dash then D dash then C dash then O dash then VP then HP then break then move then Y so now you just click on VP you just click on this A dash O1 dash B dash D dash O dash and C dash then go to layer make that layer as uh, Print view then you take HP make that layer as top view now you just move over this you take open dash and keep it here then go to copy select this a dash and you take B dash then you take D dash then you have O1 dash then we have C dash 
then we have o dash then you have o and that o will come here and we have o1 and that o1 will come here and then we have a that a will come here then we have b that b will come here then we have c that c will come here and we have d and that d will come here and now we have d text so here you mark it as o dash and then you take this as a dash and this as b dash and this as c dash and this as d dash and this as o1 dash so here you just move over this and to c dash and here o1 dash and here it is d dash and here it is a dash uh, this c we need to open so you just click over these uh, points and you make that layer as front view so this is how you will be able to create this drawing by using autocad software this is how this is your final sketch thank you